Are you new to pipelines? Need to get set up but don't know where to start? This video is for you, my friend. Welcome to QuickBase Junkie. I help QuickBase builders learn fast to deliver more. In this video, I'll walk through three areas you'll need to update in order to start building pipelines. To get set up on pipelines, the first thing we want to do is check do you already have access to pipelines? You'll know you have access if you see pipelines listed up here in the app bar. Now in this case, I do already have access, but if we needed to set up access or give access to someone else, what we'll need to do is go into the admin console. The admin console is available to anyone who is in an account or realm admin. You can access the console through the manage my account located here or up under your name with manage, in my case, junkie or the name of your realm. I'll open that and I'll navigate over to the permissions section. Here on the permissions section, I have the option to allow anyone to access pipelines. Now, I don't recommend turning this on for everyone. Pipelines is a powerful tool and you want to make sure only those who need access to it have access to it. That takes us down to this bottom portion where we can specify permissions for different users. If you are the account or realm admin and don't yet have permission, you might have to ask QuickBase to turn this on for you. Otherwise, we can simply check the box next to the user's name or if the user isn't listed here, we can add that user with this button here. Once we've got that set, we'll click on save. And now we can also check our actual pipelines and which channels our pipeline has access to. Pipelines will automatically have access to QuickBase, so that's fantastic. But all of these external channels that we can connect to QuickBase will need to be turned on, depending on which we want to use. Also, depending on the account that you have, you might have access to only three channels at a time or five channels at a time. So you want to be selective in which you choose. While we're on the subject of channels, I also want to mention that you can access pipelines through a free builder account. If you're just playing, testing, learning, I highly advise you get a builder account because you automatically get access to every single channel. That's right. So long as you have an account with, say, DocuSign or Dropbox, you can connect that channel to QuickBase to learn, test, and play before launching it in your live production account. Okay, we've set up our user and set our channels that we want to use for pipelines. Next, we'll need to establish which apps can be used inside of pipelines. For that, I'm gonna log out of this account and log into my other account. Now that I'm logged into my other account that has never used pipelines before, you'll notice I do have access to pipelines. However, I want to first make sure that any apps that I want to use in pipelines will have access. So the app that I want to connect is this quick base junkie tutorials. I'll go up here into my name and click on my preferences and scroll down to manage user tokens. I'll establish a new token. This particular token I want to use for pipelines, so I'll simply call it pipelines. And now here's where I need to assign different apps to that token. Any app that I add here can access pipelines through this token once I add it into pipelines. I'll click save. And now I have my actual token. We'll come back to actually grab that token, but now let's jump into pipelines. Since this is my first time accessing pipelines with this account, I'll land on this welcome screen. It gives me some basic information, but I can click on start building pipelines. Once inside, the first thing I really want to do is just let's create that pipeline. This way we can start to get everything connected up to make it usable. I'll give it a name. I'll call it my first pipeline and click create. I'll navigate over to here to where it says all 
and expand the quick base. This is where we're going to connect quick base. We don't have to do this every time, but rather just the first time. I'll click on connect, enter my subdomain, which is the portion of the URL that comes right before .quickbase.com. In my case, it's junkie.quickbase.com. And now here is where I will enter that user token. I'll head back over to my preferences and just copy that token and bring it back here into my pipeline. If you need any help on this page, there is a help article located here. I'll click connect. And now I can access all of the actions underneath the quick base account. If I needed to connect other accounts, let's say Dropbox, I would then need to connect Dropbox as well. Each channel will have their own specific login and setup for that type of channel. So you can go ahead and connect any of those channels that you anticipate you'll be using for your pipelines. If I wanted to add another QuickBase app to my pipeline, I would simply need to go back now to my user token, update this token to include any other apps that I have access to. This particular account does not have access to any other apps, but if I did, they would be listed here and I could add them in. I would not need to create a separate token for each app. I just load them up here and then all of those apps will have access to my pipeline. So that my friends are the three basic steps in the admin console within your app tokens and here on the pipeline. Next up, let's take a tour of the pipelines interface. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe using the link below. You can also drop me a comment and let me know what you thought and what you enjoyed the most. And then head over to quickbasejunkie.com to grab one of those free downloads. <laughs> Bye for now. Using the link below. Using the link below. Bye for now.